पंडरपुर सेंट चौका मेरा एंड विठला पांडुरंगा चौका मेरा दो बॉर्न इन अ लोअर सोशल स्ट्राटा वुड बिकम एक्सटैटिक वाल सिंगिंग इन प्रेज ऑफ विठला चौका मेरा सेट डोंट ड्रिंक टॉरी एंड अवॉइड ईटिंग मीट Look upon woman as your mother let us all rejoice singing the praise of Vithala Few villagers said Choka are you mad how can we change our habits Hey Choka is a fool let us go and drink toddy gradually the people were uplifted through Choka Mira's advice in course of time they even enjoyed singing bhajans however despite his devotion he was still prevented from entering the temple Choka said Please listen to me O learn men man does not become superior by birth alone he becomes great by his deeds also moreover where is the question of disparity between us when god resides in all priest said how arrogant he should never even come near the temple this is our order Choka mera could not even go near the temple thereafter He however realized that God dwells in the heart and started worship him him within. One day Choka Mera fell fast asleep after singing in the praise of Panduranga. At midnight Panduranga appeared before him. He said, "O oh Lord, is that you?" Lord asked Choka Mera, "What do you want?" He prayed, "Lord, I am being debarred from having your darshan in the temple." Lord said, You two are my devotee like Namdeva, Kabir Das and Tulsi Das. Go to the temple now. When ecstatic Choka Mera reached the temple, the temple doors opened. In the midst of glowing lamps and ringing bells, Pandurinath revealed himself. Shedding profound tears of joy, Choka Mera prostrated before the Lord. On hearing the temple bells ring at midnight, the priests rushed there. They were shocked to see Chokamira in the shrine. Some proclaimed that Chokamira had come to steal while others jeered at him. Choka said, "Why would I come here without his call? Pandranath himself woke me up and brought me here." Villagers said, "Are you bluffing? Get away from this village right away." After this incident, Chokamira started living on the other side of the river Chandrabhaga. Throughout an ekadashi night, He sang bhajans. Next morning, he took tulsi water after his bath. At that time, an elderly man came there. Elderly man asked, "Son, would you give me something to eat for breaking my ekadashi fasting?" Choka said, "Sir, we are fortunate to have you here. Henceforth, you can come here every dwadashi to break your fast." As invited the old man came there every dwadashi the couple soon realized that the old man was none other than vithala who dwells in the heart of simple folks one dwadashi chokamira fell asleep after a while he woke up with a start as you say lord later he realized and said oh how come i dozed off like this he would arrive soon finish cooking quickly i shall come after a bath When Chokamira went to Chandrabhaga for bath people there stopped him he said sir the lord would come to my house for food i want to take bath here and serve him priest said what would the lord ever come to your house the people thought he was impertinent and complained to the king chokamira was brought before the king king asked chokamira did you say that pandarinath himself visits your house to partake food He replied, "Yes, O king." King replied, "You fool! How dare you take liberties with God? For your impertinence, you will be thrown in the midst of roguish bulls. Let them gore you to death." Chokamira was left in the forest according to the king's order. A guard hid himself and watched on to see what would happen to a true devotee like Chokamira. But Chokamira, forgetting himself, was singing about vithala vithala panduranga then what a surprise the rakish bulls are standing around chokamara in trance the guard rushed to the king and narrated what he saw the king to realize chokamara's greatness and hastened to release him 
ఏదేచ్చో కమెడా దెన్ హ్యాపీలీ రిటర్న్ హోమ్ As usual on the Dwadashi the lord came to have food in the guise of the old man Chokamira said to wife alas you have broken the curd pot when the lord is eating his dress is also spoiled she replied as please forgive me the pot fell because of my nervousness while serving the lord a passer by overheard this conversation he slapped chokamira thinking that he was pretending that the lord had partaken food in his lowly house thereafter he bathed and went to the temple what a surprise when that person went to the temple he found the left cheek of lord swollen there were traces of curds on his dress the priests and the devotees were shocked seeing this through earnest inquiries they understood that the cause was a slapping of chokamaya pandrinath sent the priest to bring chokamaya with due honors priest said chokamaya We had not realized your greatness till now. The Lord himself has sent me to bring you to the temple. Chokamaya prayed, Panduranga, you have made me to a part of your divine play. Panduranga vithala jaya panduranga. Moral of the story, as said by Sri Ramakrishna, God gives one divine eyes and only then can one behold him. God gave Arjuna divine eyes so that he might see his universal form. Do you know how intense our love of God should be? The love that a devoted wife possesses for her beloved husband, the attachment that a miser feels for his hoarded wealth, and the gripping desire that the worldly-minded people have for the things of the world, when the intensity of your heart's longing for God is equal to the sum of these 3 then you will attain him